Shout out to everyone popping bottles and naming yachts today. Where are all the builders? Who's filling Una? Who is launching startups that will shake the room, set the tone, create the agenda? Are you prepared to carry today? Let your business reset the room. Welcome to Try Flourishing, Omri, Los Angeles. Market check coming up in equities, crypto, plus the carried heavy seven. It's a recap of startups flexing on venture markets today. You don't want to miss that. The location for today's show, it's set somewhere off the Amalfi Coast, absolute paradise, the ROI on the inside, and the vibes that we are providing today are off the charts, 5.93%. Let's get into it by first grounding ourselves, taking a deep breath in, inhale. Finding a sense of composure within yourself and release. Checking in on the markets, it's a bit mixed. The Dow is down 124 points, resting at 30,091. The S&P 500 down 5.92 points currently at 3,689. The NASDAQ is up though. It's green, 21 points at 12,763. The Russell is up 10 points, 1,980. It's also a mixed bag on some of the stock snap down 1.85% at $51.51. Alphabet down 1% currently at $1,716.53. But PayPal, it's it's up. It's green. Currently at $241.38. Shifting gears to the crypto markets. Current market cap of crypto is up 0.5% to $659 billion. Bitcoin down in the last 24 hours, 0.9%, 23,319. Ethereum down in the last hour, 1%, $626, but up 0.1% in the last 24 hours. Taking a deep breath in, inhale and release. Some of you may be locked in on some of the losses or some of the gains right now, but as mindful investors, as contemplative investors, we find a way to meet it all. We know that our positions remain sound, that our strategy remains whole, that our vision remains complete. We know our risk tolerance levels. We know that the companies that we invested in are solid and that there may be up days and down days in the market, but we still move higher. We still advance. And so that's how we navigate. Shifting gears, shifting gears. It's time to check in on the carried heavy seven. My favorite time. These are seven startups who are flexing on venture markets today. So let's begin. We're starting in Utah, come through Utah with Jane flexing on venture markets, $40 million bag secured, a digital bazaar for fashionistas to sell looks and users to find inspiration from collections. Marketplace boss Talib Naroom Mohid carried heavy in a Series A round coined by Tritium Partners. As we take a look at Jane's website, what can I see? So, starts off Jane in the upper left-hand corner, their logo, an, a circular array of 
reddish rose colored dots. The menu bar starts with women's shoes, jewelry and accessories, home, kids and baby, and then more. It has a search bar. The hero image is a rotating slider. Um, the first slide is of a series of gift cards. So they're pushing the gift cards. It says gift cards are always in stock shop now and has a holiday themed gift cards on a red background. The next slide has the coziest time of year. Shop cozy. And it has women in winter wear. So they have on beanies, very furry. They have these kind of rose colored beanies. There's one that's dark gray. There's another model. She's wearing a number of different scarves and there's snow coming down. And then there's one on the left and she's just wearing a sweater and it is, it is multicolored and, uh, she looks very happy and everyone's smiling and everyone's experiencing winter in a different way. Some of them have a heavy winter with snow. Some of them have a little lighter winter and some of them are have like this California winter where it's just like a little breeze, right? <laughs> and so um, the last slider has Mary, Mary, Mary and some uh, sweatshirts and download the app is the call to action. And so then they have where individuals can shop by categories, top sweaters, boots, toys, beauty, wellness, and there's a number of different items that are that are selected next for individuals to shop. So this is a place where people can sell their items, right? Sell their clothes and, um, and other products. So it could be home goods, it could be furnishings, it could be some sort of accessory. So there's a wide variety of things that can be sold here. And, um, they are also trying to create this sense of a look, right? How can you create a look? So you don't see a lot of people with the uh, plain white background, as you kind of see, right? They have uh, a lot of different people. They have a lot of different textures. Some people are standing in front of brick walls. Some of them, um, are the products are displayed in front of marble. And some of them have uh, uh, wooden backgrounds. And some of them are outdoors. So there's a variety of, of ways that it's, trying to present the collection where it's not just kind of like a uniform plain background and um so that's a different uh that's a different take and um they're trying to create this sense of of community uh there with sneak peeks and the collections that's the real thing the big real big collections so that is jane taking a deep breath in inhale and release. Did you find a sense of inspiration there? Did you feel like, you know what, I have an idea. You Maybe you have a retail play. Maybe there's a retail play within you. That vertical, we know people will always need something to wear. People will need always need something to furnish their homes. People will always need inspiration for looks and for the visual aesthetic of their of, of where they nest, of where they house themselves. So use that as inspiration to begin to build, to begin to navigate and move towards your business. Moving on. Next up on our carry heavy list. San Francisco, you know San Francisco was going to come through. There was no doubt about it. San Francisco delivers. In this tech list, San Francisco with Life Raft flexing on venture markets, $3.5 million bag secured for the insurance vertical, filling a gap in insurance coverage with supplemental plans. Now, the insure tech boss in Blumenfield, he carried in a seed round coin provided by. Costa Noah Ventures and XYZ Venture Capital. So let's check in on LifeRaft's website. Pulling it up right now, LifeRaft, upper left-hand corner. It has a 
light blue logo and um, it starts with we're working to abolish medical debt right this kind of like strong powerful call to action right and then in a hero image it has a picture of what looks to be like a leg it, um, there's a, a canoe that's kind of venturing off into the lake and the lake is is being uh is being reflected in the river or reflected in the lake it could be a little foreboding it could be a little ominous you know or you know it, it was like one of those early mornings you're like, i'm going out for a canoe ride but it's not bright and sunny it is cloud filled sky in this life wrap i don't know <laughs> I don't know if this is trying to say something that's getting ready to happen or what the feel is here, but it is definitely giving me like uh, it, everything isn't okay. But um, their entry words are supplemental health insurance for you. Even the best health insurance doesn't cover everything. Fill the gaps in coverage. Get hospital supplemental insurance. And so it kind of goes through simple, clear and straightforward products that work how you want and expect, flexible, receive benefits as direct payments made to you or whomever you choose, even if you change jobs or health plans, and then cost effective, reasonable cost designed for lasting solutions. Um, and so then it goes through and asks this question, is your Employer provided health insurance enough, and then they offer some calculations. $1,644, the average deductible amount paid by an individual with an employer provided health insurance plan in 2020. 66%, the percentage of Americans worried about being able to afford an unexpected medical bill. 5.5 days, the average length of a hospital stay in the United States. And then they list their products, um, hospital supplemental insurance and if you've ever had to go to the hospital and you've ever had a bill from the hospital you look at that and it's just mind-boggling it's astounding how expensive anything is in hospitals here in the u.s like you just go in there for a sneeze and you can come out if you don't have coverage or the proper coverage with just the a bill that you go, how is this calculated, right? What kind of rocket science, what kind of advanced calculus do I need in order to calculate this bill? Because it's absolutely incredible, right? I, I just don't, I just don't, I just don't get it. So Life Raft is really trying to um, provide uh, some coverage there to fill in that gap. So Definitely feeling life raps vibes, but I, uh, something about this cloudy sky, like, I don't know if they're trying to convey this sense that it's foreboding, but we got you. Uh, as for a hero image, I'm just not sure that that is it, that that's carrying for me, but... I like how the explanation goes, and I like the idea of supplemental health, hospital insurance, insure tech, right? And um, kind of breaking down those calculations. So check out Life Raft, taking a deep breath in, inhale, release. Did that get some of your creative juices flowing? Are you feeling like, oh, you know what? That is a need. Right, this kind of gap, this hospital insurance. Maybe there's some other gaps in life that you are thinking of, that you know about, within something that you care about, that other people would care about. You can help fill that gap just as Life Raft is helping to fill in the gap within the insurance market and hospital plans. You know a gap, you can fill it. Moving on. Moving forward, advancing through the list. We're going to Milan. We're going to Milan, y'all. Come through Milan with Deliveristo flexing on venture markets. 4.5 million euro bags secured. 
Deliveristo provides an online marketplace for caterers and suppliers. B2B food supply boss Ivan Amio carried heavy in the seed round, coined by IAG, Jelfi, Doorway, Seven, Morati, and Metrica. Listen, the Italian, the Italian language is just so beautiful. Even the names of the venture capital firms just sound like, you know, great, right? They just sound grand, right? You hear that, Marathi. Like, that sounds like some expensive whatever. Like, you could put that on anything and it sounds expensive. Marathi Hotel. That sounds expensive. Marathi Hospital. Let me go to that one. Marathi Clothes. That sounds like the latest threads, right? Uh, metrica, right? It sounds, it just, the, the language, it just, it just sounds good. So um, that was a little aside, but back to Deliveristo. Let's go check in on their website, the little marketing push on them. Um, so the website is in, is in, is in Italian. I'm going to Google translate it over to English. I'm going to accept all the cookies. And so it has Deliveristo, orange logo with a little leaf on top. And then um, the rest of it is in the uh, black or a dark gray, very, very dark gray um, uh, letters, sans serif font. But the dots over the both of the eyes are an orangish reddish color and that's a nice touch right it's very it's very it looks very modern right it looks very modern and so it has a hero image with a chef looking right he just looks like he's a veteran chef like he is a michelin rated chef i mean he has the apron he also has the chef's kind of white jacket underneath it he has this long hair he's given he has this beard he looks like he's a very seasoned a hardened restaurateur chef and he doesn't play any games in the kitchen what he says goes right so that's the kind of image he goes he gives he's not smiling he's just looking dead at the camera he's looking dead at you right and so you know i, I like that vibe because it's like he's he's not he's not like he's not like playing chef he is the chef, right? He is yes chef. And so the text next to the image, it goes, the market for catering suppliers. Are you a chef or a restaurateur? Question mark. Log in to discover the widest choice of suppliers for your existing venue on the market. Log in, sign up, right? Very plain, right? Ask this question you know they're targeting chefs or restaurateurs. Everything makes sense. Everything is cohesive. Everything is is, is is nice, right? And even the background that they chose, they didn't go for a plain white background. They went for a, 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 a like a black a background that's more gray, right? It's like this um, mid tone, mid to lighter tone gray, and all the buttons pop with this orange. So it's like. All the call to actions are drawn to this orange. And so their kind of advantages break down. It says one, speed, order in seconds, save time and money. Two, simplicity, single billing point to buy online from a huge choice of suppliers. Three, quality, a team of graduates in gastronomic sciences is at your complete disposal to advise you. Come on, come through with the gastronomic sciences graduates. Like, they could be able to tell you whether you are getting the right Chilean sea bass, right? The quality of this, probably like the acidity level of the of the eggs benedict, right? They, they making the, the gastronomical science graduates. That's a nice touch right there. I actually like when companies are able to provide an era of expertise, like a precision of uh, of of a product, right, or a service, and um, and to have someone who went through that sort of training providing that is um, is great. So I like that speed, simplicity, quality, and then it says three hundred manufacturers, five hundred restaurant serves, and fifteen thousand products in like an infographic 
kind of way overlaid in front of this kind of mountain and farm looks nice and then it has um and then it has some fish right and a uh, person carrying some vegetables into a store and then an array of like olives and right it looks very chic very italian very 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 cool so that is deliveristo does it just make your mouth water does it just make you just feel like oh, yes yes if you are a restaurateur you know that that's such a needed thing right you need a place where you can go get your supplies right uh, is there a walmart an amazon of suppliers where you can easily access all your needs right you need those floor mats in the kitchen right you need those you need you need new pans you need new plates all the time you need you need all kinds of food all the time you need the freshest ingredients you want locally sourced you want the um farm to table you want organic right and so deliverista was providing that in italy are they well, who's providing that in your community right who's providing that in your community and so you have to ask yourself is that a niche is that a service right that should give you inspiration. That should help create something in you. Where can you provide that expertise? Where can you provide that simplicity? Where can you provide that 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 Marathi quality, right? That Marathi, like come through delivery still. All right, taking a deep breath in, inhale. Release. We're moving back stateside. With Chicago on the list, come through Chicago with Project 44 flexing on venture markets. $100 million bag secured, global shipping and supply chain vertical, logistics boss Jet McCandless carried heavy in a Series D round. Coin by underscore VC. Sozo Ventures, Sapphire Ventures, Odemeyer Technology. Uh oh, is that Pierre Odemeyer? Uh oh, go, go, oh, 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 is that the eBay fam? Okay, come through. Inside Partners, Emergence, and 8VC. So, uh, now they went, they went all out, right? What is this? What funny round was the Series D? All right, so they're continuing that growth track. Okay, so let's check in on Project 44's website, their marketing that is carrying them. So you go to their website, it's kind of minimalist. Oh, you know what? I do have one thing. Let me switch browsers real quick. I think that's what I got to do. One second, one second. Okay. There we go. I just had to switch browsers for one second. Okay, so um, Project 44, logo upper left-hand corner, all lowercase. 44 is in a circle. Project is next to it. And then it says, uh, in this menu bar, it has platforms, solutions, industries, networks, companies, resources. Log in, request demo, all that. All that jazz um, and then it has uh, a pull text that says uh, global shippers and LPs are accelerating visibility initiatives to increase agility read Gartner's new report how to access the benefits and return on investments of a real-time transportation visibility platform to qualify the ROI of real-time visibility download the complimentary report it's a lot going on there. Okay, that's all I can say. So I'm gonna close that. Um, it's a lot of stuff that pops up here. It's a lot of stuff that pops up. It's got the menu. It says, welcome to Project 44. How can we help you unlock this? Okay, so well, let me close that. Okay, Whew. I was like, there's just a lot going on here. But, so now that we're at this hero image let's check this in so there's a, an image of a truck in a tunnel all right and then there is kind of this so the, that's the first image and then the second one on the slider is a drawing an infographic drawing of like a plane with a location 
um, symbol, and then there's a barge, a shipping barge, and then there's a port, and a train, and a truck, and a smaller delivery truck, and then like a personal pers postman delivery. And so it is attempting to create this image of, of the whole supply chain, right? The whole um, logistics chain of how a product is shipped. And so it definitely is conveying, like if I didn't know anything about Project 44, I would think, oh, it's about transportation, right? Oh, it's about logistics. It makes sense. That makes sense. It had that first image of the shipping truck, like it instantly gave that sort of vibe. So instantly without any knowing anything, there's some congruence there, it makes some sense. The third one is a video that, um, has uh, like a cargo ship that immediately is picking something up and then it has like some of the companies that are working with it and uh, some shipping containers. Um, Amazon, Bosch, Walgreens, Coke, um, Bayer, ExxonMobil, Convoy. So you know they're like solid because they're listing all their clients who they're working with. And then they have another image of another semi that's just kind of like, going by and everything you know all of those i don't think you can click on any of them i think like the first the first truck in it's like a the first one is like a truck in a uh an under an overpass i don't know if that's the most dynamic one it would seem like starting with this video one with like the crane picking up the 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 palette of items is like that's really like engaging that's really dynamic it seems like that would be the one to like be the first one up so and then that infographic drawing and then i actually like uh how they had list all the companies that work with them that's pretty cool and then that last image of the truck is really cool but the first one and um truck in concrete uh, overpass not the most dynamic, but you know, it gets the job done. And then um, its first thing is that Project 44 raises 100 million, right? It instantly creates this sense of credibility. They are proud of this. They are popping bottles and naming yachts over there at Project 44. I get it. They carried the day. Series D, 100 million. That is well done. It says, join the 300 plus global brands leveraging Project 44. Shippers, manage your supply chain with precision and efficiency. Tr even uh, in the face of disruption, improving inventory predictability, reducing fines and meeting customer expectations. Logistics service providers provide the service your customers need and increase profitability in a volatile market through digitization that doesn't require high cost custom solutions and carriers book and retain more business. We partner with you to keep drivers on the road, eliminate manual check calls and increase profits. Boom, boom, boom. It's like one, two, three. They set them up. Who's their customers? Shippers. Boom. I got you. Here's the problem you have. Here's what we can solve. Logistics service providers. Boom. We got you. Here's the problem. Here's what we can provide. Carriers. Boom. Problem, solution, right? They are just listing who their customers are, who they are targeting, who they're going after, and um, all the services that they can offer. So I like that. I like when it's outlined, here's the potential customer profile, here's the potential problem you encounter, some expense you're encountering, and here's how we can solve it, right? Better predictability, better planning, and then they get into this, their um, green and environmental stance, solid gives people the feel good and the call to action so nice move did you get inspired by project 44 y'all did you did something start percolating within you because you should be said you know i should i can carry and while yours may be something in the transportation realm do you have a transportation business idea right it can be you right this can be you you can be popping bottles and naming yachts you got to put in the work though all right Solid. Taking a deep breath in. Inhale. And release. We're going international, y'all. Come through Tel Aviv with Trigo flexing on venture markets. $60 million bag secured. 
pioneering, AI-driven, cashierless retail. Check out boss Michael Gabay carried heavy in the Series B round, coined by Veritex Ventures, Israel, Tesco. Oh, Tesco. Okay, Tesco. They're like, let me get in on this retail tech cashierless game. Um, Red Dot Capital Partners, Morag Investment, Hertz Ventures, and 83 North. Well, one thing that I can say is this. Self-checkout is definitely an intermediate stage, right? Self-checkout feels like Walkman. It's giving me CD player, right? Like portable CD player. Like it's a nice, it's it's nice, right? You get to fit more, you get to carry your tunes around in a personal thing and your personal player. However, it does seem a little clunky, right? Self-checkout is not the vibe because you just, you over there, you got to know how much, uh, uh, what the code is for the for the fruit that you have, and if it don't have that little sticker on it, you looking around through there, and then it's telling you to put things in the bagging area, and stuff don't weigh right, and it can be it can feel a little clunky when you're doing that self checkout. I've done that, and sometimes it goes quick, and then sometimes it's like, oh, every time I go there, I gotta ask for assistance. Something needs to be clear. Something needs to be done. So that doesn't necessarily feel the most uh, the most uh, like seamless. What Trigo is trying to do is like usher in this MP3 player, right? They're doing the iPod, right? They're trying to bring in that seamless checkout experience. And we see Amazon also um, uh, working in this space as well. And so if you go to Trigo's website, they start with a background video, and it is nice because it in like 15 seconds, it explains their whole product. I love this website, absolutely, because it all makes sense, right? So it, it, it tells the whole story in, in less than 20 seconds of what they do. And so what happens? Well... You go into the store, right? The video opens, you go into the store, someone takes out their phone and scans the QR code. They then go into the store and they pick up the item that they want. It says Coke and then the price of the Coke pops up. And then they pick up a Twix and the price of the Twix pops up. And then they walk out the store and then they look at their phone and it says thank you. So you don't have to do anything, right? You don't have to go to a, see a register, you don't have to go to a cashier. All you do is get your items and you walk out, right? And it automatically bills you. So all you do, you go into the store, you scan the QR code, you pick out the items that you want and you leave, right? And it's seamless transaction, right? You, there's no no, there's there's no going to some weird self checkout and fumbling around in there and not figuring out where to scan things, why things aren't scanning, you know. So I, I love this, and it's a background video, and it says Trigo, same store, seamless checkout. Trigo provides an AI and computer vision powered frictionless shopping experience and automates in store processes for grocery retailers absolutely enjoy this one built to scale two multi-solution platform three converting existing stores four privacy by design addressing retailers need so once again they're instantly saying what they can do to help the retailers to help their customers and um so that's trigo like that's solid right solid moves there and so what can you glean from this, right? What inspiration can you take away from this? One, seamless, two, frictionless, right? Those should be the themes there. If there is an industry that you are in, a business idea that you can have, where you can remove barriers, where you can remove the friction, where you can make it easier, right? Or people don't even have to think about it. They just go in there, get what they want and leave, right? Can, if you can think of something and apply that to your industry, right? To apply that to your business idea, to apply that to your startup, that would be solid move, right? Remove the friction, make it seamless. That's really the lesson that Trigo is providing all of us. All right, taking a deep breath in, inhale. 
and release. Okay, we're coming back stateside. Come through Los Angeles with Perch flexing on venture markets. $2.5 million bag secured. Alternative credit builder vertical using recurring payments. Credit repair boss Michael Bolton carried heavy in the seed round. Coined by Villa Cap Investments. Todd Gurley. All right, Todd Gurley. Um, SB Opportunity Fund, Marcy Venture Partners, Concrete Rose Capital, and Citigroup. All right, Citigroup. Um, checking in on the website for Perch. Okay, so Perch definitely gives a tech app startup vibe. Like, it, it has it down to a T. So it has the uh, nice... Uh, perch logo. It's like it. It's like an ombre from purple to this um, lighter blue. Right, the H is in this lighter blue. The perch, the P at the per on the perch is slightly stylized. Very nice. It says build credit with Amazon, rent, Netflix. Right, and so all these words just keep floating in Hulu, and it's like. Oh, so I can use all these services that I'm providing to build my credit? And it says, um, use recurring expenses to boost your credit instantly with Perch. Download on the App Store. And so that's like the intro. It uses a, uh, uh, a geometric shape purple background to overlay the uh, phones onto with Someone's credit score and an image of the app looks very nice, very clean. It has a light purple, very, very faint um, purple or um, background. It says quick and easy setup, automates credit building, keeps your data safe. And um, it talks about the media that it's been reported in and build credit with subscriptions kind of reaffirms their service what they're offering and so that's a solid move right and it kind of gives some examples solid move with perch right and so you have to think about you and your business now what lesson can you take from this startup from purchase um, organization and really they're helping to find an alternative metrics to establish credit. So you can think the applicable lesson for you is, can you find an alternative approach to something within your industry, right? Maybe there's an underused metrics, right? Maybe there's some data insight that is little known or not really featured within your industry. Can you extract value from that um, potential metrics? That's the real lesson here. That's the real thing that Perch is teaching for all of you entrepreneurs and startups out there. All right, taking a deep breath in, inhale. And release. We're heading east. Come through Pittsburgh with Petilogics. I said that right. Petalogics flexing on venture markets, uh, $35.4 million bag secured, drug discovery and therapeutics driven by unexplored novel peptides. Biotech boss Jonathan Setback carried heavy in the Series B round, coined by Preside Capital. Peter Thiel, all right, Peter Thiel. You know Peter Thiel is in and on it. And the Founders Fund, solid, solid, solid. Okay, so checking in on Peptilogics. Oh, that's how it's done. Peptilogics uh, website. See what we can glean from them. So it starts, let me kind of describe this to you. There is a circular array of triangles um, maybe it symbolizes some chemistry bond, something like that. Half of it is in yellow, half of it is in white. Next to it, the Peptilogic's name is placed. 
um, in the menu bar about platform pipeline partnering. Uh, the text, the hero text, very large font, says radically altering drug discovery, designing globally important therapeutics. Underneath the background, the background image, I should say, um, is it looks like a material, it looks like it can be something that's seen under a microscope. It has this dark blue and it in one end and then it shifts in color to like this kind of more intense um, violet color and it all looks like it's some sort of material that it can be some sort of liquid that it definitely gives a vibe that it is it, it, it's like chemistry right it gives a chemistry vibe and so that should be right on point right that's that's solid and then it says unlocking novel chemical sp Space to address challenging drug targets. Our computational drug design platform connects and extracts insight from diverse biomedical data, allowing us to unlock new universe of unexplored novel peptides with powerful applications. Discover our platform. Right, They are saying that we are the space of innovation. We are looking at this situation in a new way. And so that is the lesson that we can extract here, entrepreneurs, startups, all of you who are preparing to carry, all of you who want to pop bottles and name yachts. How can you look at it in a new way? They're using novel peptides. What is the novel peptide in your industry? What is the novel peptide in your startup? What is the novel peptide that you need to be looking for? Peptilogix has found their novel um, peptide and are exploring uh, bio, biomedical data using it. You need to find the novel peptide in your industry, be it in publishing, be it in media, be it in finance, be it in travel and leisure. What is the novel approach? What is the new way to see the very same situation? That is the thing that you need to be thinking of with the lesson learned from Pepti Logics. So, taking a deep breath in, inhale. Ah, release. So we've explored it all, friends. Bottle poppers and yacht namers. Bosses out there. Future bottle poppers and yacht namers. We heard from Jane. We heard about Life Raft. We heard about Deliveristo. We heard about Project 44. We heard about Trigo. We heard about Perch. And we heard about Peptilogix. You can add your name to the list. You can be a builder. You have an idea. You have a vision. You have a dream that is placed on your heart, that is printed within you. It's time to begin to take the next step. Let's meditate for a few moments so that your dream may be realized. Coming into an upright and comfortable seated position. Identifying a place of stability within yourself. Noticing what it feels like to hear about builders, to hear about organizations being launched, to hear about investors seeing the vision, to hear about new and novel approaches, to hear about communities and collections, online retail marketplaces. To hear about gaps in, in coverage and how those are being filled. To hear about restaurants and chefs and how they will get their needs met, their supplies, so that they can deliver to their customers. To hear about supply chains and logistics, connecting 
individuals, how, how a product, how a service goes from one place to another, how, how it's received in hand. To, to hear about seamlessness and frictionless, adding ease to individuals' lives. To hear about second chances and alternative credit building. To hear about new and novel approaches. This is a space of inspiration. This is a space where you can look at the builders who are creating today and see a blueprint for your future. They're showing you how to build, how to iterate, how to grow, how to unfold. That you have to be courageous in taking the step forward. That you have to present the idea some may agree with it, others may disagree with it, but you still have to carry forward. You still have to move on, advance. Don't stay stuck in thinking that what you want out of life is not possible. You can build it. You can grow it. You can nurture it. Create a space for it within your heart. All right, taking a deep breath in to seal our practice in. Inhale. And release. Well practiced, everyone. Listen, you are going to carry heavy soon. You will be popping bottles and naming yachts, and I will be talking about how your city is carrying and how you are pushing through, how you are being Una one day. Make that day a reality by taking this step. Because your destiny is found in this step. Your destiny is revealed in this step. And how do you find the strength and the courage to take this step? You find it by taking this breath. Taking a breath and taking a step. Taking a breath and taking a step. And your path is revealed one step after the next. All right, everyone. All right, bottle poppers and yacht namers. It's been real. It's been fun. I hope you had a good time. I hope you were inspired. Get at me. Talk to me. Let's connect. I'll see you next time. Ciao.